I am really excited to share with you our birth story. And it's actually more like a saga. It's a three part saga. And the first part is really gonna be all about the laboring. The second part's gonna be about delivering. And then the third part will be just general reflections on kind of the overall experience. We've got tons of video that really brings it to life and you'll see firsthand exactly how intense my labor was. So it all began on September 10th at about 9.30 p.m. I got my first undeniable contraction. And for me, it was very clear. It didn't feel like a Braxton Hicks. It didn't feel like cramping. It was a contraction. It had this concentrated force of pressure and pain, and I just knew that I was going into labor. So for the first several hours, I really just took it easy. I tried to rest. In fact, I did a lot of laboring kind of by myself in the bathroom just so that my husband could sleep and keep his strength up for the whole journey ahead of us. So that went on for several hours until about 2 a.m. when the intensity and the kind of the pain got too much. So I woke him up and we decided to go for a walk. It's Friday night. The bars are closing around in our neighborhood. Partiers are streaming past us. And here I am leaning against a tree having contractions. So right. that walk really threw me into hyper contractions. I was having contractions every minute and a half. I couldn't get them to slow down. So I called my doula and she recommended taking a nice, long, warm bath. So I did just that. Filled up the tub, got in, relaxed for two hours. I actually was able to sleep. My husband also was able to sleep. And it really did slow my contractions down. I felt a lot better. And by the time I got out, it was daybreak. Is uh, Genevieve is just she can still wave. She's doing a great job here. I'm trying to. Want to tell us what a contraction feels like? It feels like a burning wave of pressure and pain. Um, I have a lot of it in my back too, so I don't know if that's typical, but... Ooh, I'm having a little one right now. Oh. 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 All right, it's 11.30 and we're trying a new move here. Got Genevieve down on the floor, all fours, and you see she's having some back pain. I don't know if this is back labor, but she's having back pain as if it is. So we've got this ice pack here. And then, of course, I've got the back massager tool. And this thing is no joke. It really works. It was back labor. And unfortunately, I had it for the rest of my delivery. It was really strange. My baby was not posterior. And yet, for whatever reason, I delivered like he was. Okay, it's 1.30 right now, and we're about to head over to the hospital. We have the doula here, and uh, the pressure waves are getting more intense and a little more frequent. So we've talked to our midwife, and everything is set, and we're heading over now. in the car here. This is the moment that everybody, every man thinks of. What is this gonna be like? Hold on babe, we're driving over safely but speedily. And as we checked into the hospital I was ecstatic to learn that I had dilated five centimeters. Yay for the rookie mom. I was convinced I'd go in and it'd be like two. So I was really, really excited. That was a great solid start and it gave us entrance into the alternative birthing center where the rest of my labor took place. I stay centered and balanced in my birthing time. My body knows just what to do and I trust it. Contractions hurt like crazy, especially my back. I literally felt like it was breaking. It was rough, but you know what? With the help of my doula, I was able just to take it one moment at a time and get through it. Open. 
and the more stretching you feel now. After two more hours of laboring, I was super excited to learn that I dilated up to a seven. This gave me huge hope. I felt like I was progressing and things were moving along just like they should. Give me a victory pump, G. Mm -hmm. That is to celebrate the water breaking at quarter to seven. Seven centimeters plus, getting ready for the tub. The midwife started filling the birthing tub. I felt like I had hit the home stretch. Little did I know though, I had four hours of pushing hell ahead of me.